our ultimate why are we here as humans is mm. to procreate. Biology values women by their ability to procreate. Unfortunately, women <laughs> biology values men that are strong and can hunt and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Back in the day and now, it's about your ability to earn an income and your ability to lead and things like that. And as we get older, gain experiences, mm -hmm. those things increase. Biology values women by their ability to procreate on a foundational level. Okay. As women get older, those things decrease. Yeah. So I think you know, the reason why, you know, most girls are gonna hear you need to get married before you're 30, before you're 40, is because, what is it called, sexual marketplace value, mm -hmm. based on biology and then based on society, mm -hmm. has highlighted that as, okay, the roller coaster is starting to go down. Mm -hmm. This has to do with the, let's call it the normalized sexual marketplace values of men and women, according to the research. So women's normalized sexual marketplace value peaks at 18 years old and drops precipitously from that day forward. It never rises again. Men's normalized sexual marketplace value is lowest at 18, gradually rises up until about 40, remains constant for about another 20 years, and then slowly declines into old age. It isn't until 30 years old that the average male sexual marketplace value exceeds the average woman's sexual marketplace value for the very first time. This means that women's default action is to act. Like all things being equal, they will never be in a moment where they can demand the relationship they want from the man they want to have it with than today. because. For the vast majority of women, this is when they're going to have their highest valuation in the sexual marketplace. Now, I think what's happening now is like, we're restructuring society mm -hmm. to cater to a different definition of gender roles and a different definition of like, each of our responsibilities. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, as a species, we haven't advanced that much since caveman times. Like brain-wise, we're relatively the same as cavemen. Really? You think so? Absolutely. Psychologists say it too. We, we, the reason why, for instance, um, there's this surge in anxiety is because, it's not because our ancestors didn't have anxiety, mm -hmm. but it's because they were able to compartmentalize their anxiety. The anxiety is that jungle over there. And okay. there's a line in that jungle that might fuck me up. Okay. There are no jungles anymore, so the line is everywhere. And that's because our brains haven't caught up <laughs> to the current realities. You know, okay. so that's what, I, that's what I think it is. I think it all starts with biology and we're trying to push back at it, but like... Okay, but by and large though, mm -hmm. we do have technologies that far exceed the, the strict biological time frames. Meaning you, a woman can freeze her eggs. Sure. She can have kids without a man. Sure. So there are so many other options and avenues to the the common objective or what you say was, you know, the, I guess the determining factor of mm -hmm. women's, was mm -hmm. it? But see, those things are still like alternatives. So you're saying people want to be old school about it? Everybody wants to be old school. I mean, I, I guess it's seen as the, the outlier. Mm -hmm. You only do that if you can't do it the old school mm -hmm. way. And you know, the funny thing is like... But the I, options still exist though. The options exist. I, I always had this like nagging... I don't know if you call it an anxiety or like a... a uncertainty or insecurity that I might not be able to have kids. <laughs> no physical reason, right. no like <laughs> biological reason. I'm good right, health wise. Right, right. I mean, I know I can now, right, right. <laughs> but like <laughs> it, it, it. I always knew for me, if it never happened, I would have felt like a failure in life. Mm. So even though it happened for me under less than ideal circumstances, it's still better than like being a rich sixty year old and not having any kids.
So that's like I th- like like I said, biology is still biology, and like we're not that much far removed from our ancestors. Okay. We're not even with the technology. I mean, I, I would have to agree with you there. Mm-hmm. Like it is an alternative, and it's mm-hmm. only if you can't do it the natural mm-hmm. way. Uh, well, I won't say only because mm-hmm. some people, you know curious and you know open to things like that Mm -hmm. but i would say status quo wise regular and old school is the Mm -hmm. preference yeah old school is the best way you you're right okay okay so let me let me throw a question at you like certain men being intimidated by you Mm -hmm. how do you feel like the advancements we've made in society as far as women can vote women can own property women can achieve and black women are killing it Mm -hmm. how do you feel like that has positively and negatively affected the love experience. And you could talk from yourself, like as Mm -hmm. an an anecdotal experience or like the big picture. Man, okay, so how have the advancements for women Mm -hmm. impacted the dating Mm -hmm. experience? Dating, match, matching and all that jazz. I don't know, I feel like women have... Why should I have to lower my standards to get a man? Who does that? I'm sorry. Now what man? I just want my equal, okay? Or at least an attractive, cultured man who's over six feet tall, makes six figures, and isn't intimidated by my success. I don't need some bald-headed man on a book telling me that I am strong and independent, honey. That's a given. But you forgot lonely. If you if you consider like women's role throughout history, we've always had to be there. Mm. So whether a man is there or not, whether you know you're sick, you're healthy, mm. you have to do it. You got to get it done. And I think black women, by and large, have taken that um, pressure, so to speak, Mm -hmm. and we've ran with it. Mm -hmm. And um, for various reasons, whatever it may be, we find ourselves, we may find ourselves having to still push, you know, beyond and and obtain, um, whether that be degrees, businesses, whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, And I think that's just the drive in women, black women, to to do those things. For, as far as how that has impacted the dating scene, I don't know, I think it's impacted, of course, positively and negatively, duh. But as far as how, um, positive wise, I think men who are open to it can honestly see their spouse as now like a partner. Like, not somebody that you have to take care of, but somebody that's hustling as hard as you. Mm -hmm. And like, really, when y'all get together, you can really go, you know, further. Because what's better than, you know, somebody that you can love and grow with and build with? You know, like, Mm -hmm. that's exciting. So Mm -hmm. I think that aspect has been a positive experience. Mm -hmm. Um, From a negative perspective, it does come with the intimidation aspect for men who not who may not necessarily be where they would like to be when they meet you. Mm. The, what, <laughs> no, what you got playing? Finish, finish on you. Say, finish it, finish it. So the <clears throat> the intimidation factor is, is is rather annoying because it's I feel like it's self imposed by men. I mean, if you have a woman who's telling you like, okay, like you're not there yet, but mm. okay, but tell me the goal. Give, mm. Show me the roadmap. You know, what do you have laid out? How are you going to get there? If you can lay out that type of vision, then even a woman who is further than you may still be willing to say, OK, cool, I'm, I'm all right with you on that. Mm-hmm. I'll stand by you See, on that. What? I have to show I'm a man with a plan. You know, just make some shit up, dude. No. Remember that restaurant idea I had? Yeah. I need you to help me with a business plan. Cook for. Dummy. You know, because like I was saying, if you're up, you can be down. Mm. So from a monetary perspective or a perspective of possessions, if you have it, you can lose it. Mm. So at no point, I'm speaking for myself, do I feel like, you know, because I have this, I'm better than somebody. Mm. Um, so I don't, I don't see it as a negative thing, but I think men can see it as a negative thing because they're in their head so much. Mm. Where it's like, you really need to analyze what I'm saying to you as a woman who's, you know, interested in you or talking mm. to you. Are, are really trying to explain to you, like, I'm okay with building. Like, just show me the roadmap. And I think that comes from him not necessarily being confident in who he who he is and what his roadmap is. Because mm-hmm. it's, it's one thing to want it, but it's a totally different thing to have the grind and go get it. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he may, he may talk a good game, but when it comes to presenting those blueprints, you're coming up short. Mm-hmm. So then I think that's where the, the oh, man, she knows she gonna think she better than me, or, yeah. you know, that type of mentality may come into play. 
Hey, if you've made it all the way to the end, please click that like and subscribe button. Also share this with somebody that you think would gain value from it. Also, shout out to our Patreon executive producers and VIP members. Make sure you head over to Patreon and check out some exclusive content. A lot more happens on Patreon that can happen on YouTube. So please uh, consider becoming a member there. Click the thumbnail at the top if you want the full video. Click the thumbnail at the bottom if you want a video that's closely related to this. Again, like, share, subscribe. Appreciate you guys for watching. Check out some more of our content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.